Hello, everyone. Welcome back to JSA TV and JSA Podcast, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations here in beautiful Leesburg on a perfect fall day um, at DCD Virginia. So I am here with one of the leaders in digital infrastructure. We've got Sam Rabinowitz from Lantana LED. Welcome to JSA TV, Sam. Thank you for having me. Yeah, absolutely. So we were just chatting a little bit before this, and you are also kind of opera opera singer by night kind of deal. So I was hoping we might get a little preview of that. <laughs> that would be a great way to start off this JSA TV today. But, you know, I want no pressure. So Okay. <laughs> all right. So instead, we will talk to you all about data centers today. So we, you are part of, part of one of the DCD talks, um, yeah. pl- one of the panels taking place later this afternoon at 2.30, if anybody wants to check it out. Uh, the title of it is uh, The Path to Greener Data. Um, you were talking about uh, lighting. Uh, with next next gen solution so can you yeah. tell us a little bit just a, a key takeaway or two from that panel? yeah absolutely you know i think for us we re- we really view this as a question of achieving macro goals mm-hmm. but in order to achieve macro goals for our data center customers you really have to take on a micro level view mm-hmm. So you have to build up. It's, the, it's kind of the snowball effect. You know, mm-hmm. what are the smallest components that go into a data center mm-hmm. and then build up to deliver your macro goals as a data center owner? If it's sustainability, if it's energy efficiency, if it's a PUE number, all of these are really built at that component level. And for us, lighting is one of those core essential components. So it's really taking a look at that micro to macro view in order to achieve those macro level, uh, those macro level goals. Excellent. Perfect. So, you know, we can just head right into the next question, which is if there's anything else that you want to mention about lighting and data centers and why <laughs> it's important and why should people, you know, tune in and and, and hear absolutely. more about that. Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. It's, you know, lighting is sometimes an afterthought. And mm-hmm. we talk to engineers about this and how they have so carefully managed and planned their ceiling plan, their ceiling grid system. You know, there's so much conduit. There's so much wiring that goes into these data centers anyway. And suddenly at the last minute, an engineer will suddenly say, oh man, we need to add in lighting. Mm -hmm. Uh, And then it's a scramble, it's a mad scramble to find the ceiling space, to find the right conduit paths for these light fixtures. Mm -hmm. So our view is really to take a look at lighting from two different perspectives. One, in terms of risk mitigation. The second, in terms of making sure that that mad scramble at the end of this process doesn't actually happen. Yeah. So in order to kind of achieve that mad, you know, the mitigation of that mad scramble, uh, we take a look at this and say, let's think about lighting up front in the design process. Let's, you know, let's not let it be the last thing that anybody thinks about, because, in fact, it's a it's a safety question. It's Mm -hmm. a it's a hazard question. You know, in order to have illumination or to have employees walking in spaces, you need illumination. You need to have. Uh, lights on in order for emergencies. You need to have mm-hmm. lights on for work. You need to have lights on in the human-centric areas of a data center. So all of these are considerations and why you shouldn't have it as your last thought when designing. Yeah. But most importantly, it's risk mitigation. You know, lighting can be <laughs> lighting can be an expensive prospect if you do it wrong. Hmm. So why not take the opportunity to incorporate the industry best practices? as well as the lighting industry best practice, not just data and center industry best practices, but and meld those two up front mm-hmm. to deliver a more efficient product, a, a higher value product for your data center. Not necessarily higher cost, but higher value. You know, we're talking about energy efficiency. Let's not use a cheap fixture that has, you know, low that has a, a low efficiency rating. Instead, let's take a look at quality. Yeah. Let's look at higher energy efficiency. You know, for some of our customers, we're able to go in and say, using our lighting fixtures, using our lighting package, you're actually able to save 100 kilowatts of power right just on lighting alone. That may not sound like a lot, you know, on one data center and one data hall, but suddenly when you're building 10 data centers and when you're building uh, 15 data centers and looking at this on a programmatic level, that lighting energy savings actually adds up very quickly. And that's why, you know, we go from that micro level to the macro level. That's why this snowball effect happens where, and you know, this isn't just lighting alone. Every data center owner should be thinking about this well beyond lighting. They should be thinking about this for every content that goes into a data center. Mm. And that's how we really achieve a bigger, broader impact on the data center industry. 
Well said. Excellent. Thank you. <laughs> so avoiding that scramble, which I think speaks to everyone, right? We're all yeah. trying to avoid a scramble one way or another. Yeah. Uh, risk mitigation, micro to macro. These are all great talking points. And, yep. you know, an, another, um, you're, you're talking on this panel here that's got greener data in the title at 2.30, but also you're going to be participating in the next volume of this book right here, Greener yeah. Data. Um, so we're bringing together 50 plus thought leaders in the industry, including Sam here, um, who are all going to be writing uh, separate chapters. Uh, for this really amazing um, kind of anthology of what's going on in the digital infrastructure community right now when it comes to sustainability. So you're contributing a chapter, which of course will be about the lighting angle. Absolutely. You know, <laughs> no surprise there. <laughs> yep. um, so can you tell us a little bit about what, you're, what you'll be talking about in the book? Absolutely. It's, it's not too dissimilar from what we're talking about right now, but it's really a focus on LED lighting and efficiency. You know, the difference between just fluorescent lighting and LED lighting is stark. You know, it's up to sit between 70 and 90 percent energy savings for a single fixture. But then let's also talk about LED lighting versus LED lighting. Not all LED lighting is the same. Not all has the same level of efficiency, just mm -hmm. what we were talking about just now. And, you know, that's going to be a focus of this chapter as well. You know, mm -hmm. but again, it's this snowball effect. It's this micro to macro view. It's this. If we want to achieve big things in the industry when it comes to sustainability, when it comes to energy efficiency, then we need to think small first and let that grow into the big. Let that really just snowball into a huge effect across the industry. And, you know, I, I really, I, I talk about this a lot and I think about this a lot. I have this fantastic three-year-old niece. She's Aww. amazing. She's in L.A. Uh, <laughs> But I like to think about what's going to be life for her, you know, yeah. what's going to be life for my family going forward. You know, mm -hmm. this is this is an important, essential task. And this is an industry. The digital infrastructure industry mm -hmm. is one of the most exciting places to be in to drive this change forward yeah. in an incredible way. In, in no other section of the construction industry are owners having such a dramatic impact on sustainability initiatives are are having such a dramatic impact on manufacturing. You know, we're very lucky as part of our customer base, we work with hyperscalers mm -hmm. and some of those hyperscalers have very stringent sustainability requirements. They look at life cycle analyses, they look at, you know, environmental impact of products. And so we've been on the forefront in the lighting industry of really pushing that forward as well. And we're actually a member of the Smart EPD uh, council that is putting together the sustainability requirement standards, what's known as PCRs, the product category rules, for luminaires in North America. Mm. And that would not have happened without the digital infrastructure industry pushing forward these sustainability requirements. So one of the things that we're really, fo that I'm really focused on in this chapter is looking at how the digital infrastructure industry is changing manufacturing, not yeah. just in lighting, but across the board yeah. and really pushing forward these incredible initiatives and how manufacturing and construction will change forever because of it. That's amazing. That's incredible. Yeah. yeah, great work there. And so I wanted to give you a chance as we wrap up here to talk a little bit about, you know, the, what's coming coming out next from Lantana LED. What do you what do you guys have on the horizon? Absolutely. We're really excited. Uh, we're this year coming out with our Neoteric and Elucent Linears, uh, as well as uh, Elucent uh, family of products here. So the Elucent family and Neoteric, those will be in the market at the end of this year. We're thrilled by this. Uh, these are really a, a grouping of fixtures that you know we really designed and engineered around the specific needs, the specific engineering, uh, construction, as well as owner needs in specific industries, industries, including the digital infrastructure industry. So we're really thrilled to be able to provide an entire spec uh, for an interior lighting package, uh, and that's with this combination of the Elucent and Neoteric. So we're we're really excited by this. Uh, it's going to be a big game changer for us as well as a big game changer for our data center customers. Excellent. Well, watch this space for more, this space, but also Lantana LED <laughs> directly yeah. um, for more information about that. And thank you so much, Sam. We really appreciate you kicking off JSA TV today with us. My pleasure, Candace. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you, viewers, for hanging out with us again here on JSA TV live from DCD, Virginia. Happy networking.